Hi guys and girls, today we'll be making the reload animations for all our weapons. It's gonna be very similar to the first video, but again a bit different. I'll show you how to do it on one or two weapons and then I'll do the rest and you'll be able to download it or you know just make it yourself. First off I want to open the idle animation. So I want the idle animation of the actual weapon not the arms. So for example, we'll do the pistol first, M1911 idle, I'll open that up. And now I can go ahead and say file, save as, and save this as M1911 reload, right? So this is the actual animation for the gun, and then we'll export this and uh, apply it to the arms. Again, it's gonna be 24 frames, I think that's enough. You can go higher or lower, I don't care. Uh, but I'm gonna make each one uh, last a second just to make it easier to program but you can definitely you know add more frames and then in unity uh, make it last for more seconds it's not gonna be look the best this way but it's gonna work okay so definitely the first frame and last frame are good because you know we wanted to start and end on the same frame and now uh, well what I want to do is just kind of maybe move this back and then uh, just move the magazine down and up right so I'll move this back on frame four, press I, and then you can use a normal a transform orientation up here. And then you select this magazine bone, press G and Y, and just move it down. Before you do that, uh, I'm gonna go to frame four and just put it into this idle pose. And then I'm gonna go down uh, on frame maybe 10, let's say. Just move it down, press I, and then on frame 16, I'll just press Alt G and I to bring it back in. So now if you take a look at it, it kind of moves back, then uh, come, well, it, the barrel moves back, the gun, the magazine goes down and comes back up. Now I want this barrel to stay back until the magazine comes in and then just kind of quickly put it back. So in order to do that, I will copy the position of this barrel on frame 4, copy it, and on frame 17, let's say, I'll paste it and press I, and now the barrel will stay there. Once the magazine is in, um, on frame 18, I'll just move it a tad bit more backwards, just like that, and then on frame 20, let's say, I'll press Alt-G to bring it back and press I. Okay. So I feel like this is too little. I don't like how short this is. So what I can do is just maybe move this to frame 19 and this to frame, uh, let's say 21. Let's see now. I still don't like how little it is, so I'll move it a bit more backwards. I know this is this doesn't really make sense at the moment, but it's an animation and a game. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I like this one, I'll also rename it here to reload and I'll make sure I press Control S to save and now I can export this. So just select the armature in uh, object mode and go file export FBX. I'll go to M1911 and export this as the M1911 reload. Selected objects, only armature, FBX unit scale, export. Once you have the actual reload animation of the weapon, you want to apply to the hands. The way I'm gonna do that, again, I'll open two Blender windows. So in the one, for example, I'll open the M1911 uh, reload animation here. And on the second window, I'll open the FPS arms uh, animation. So I have the low poly arms um, M1911 and I'll find the M1911 idle. So you want the idle animation of this and in order to do it you can't be using this gun because this gun currently only has the idle animation and that will not actually apply the reload animation so you have to take this gun let's say from here from this uh, reload file copy it and then go into here and paste it okay and now you have two guns this gun i will rotate around the z-axis for 90 by pressing RZ90 and I'll have to move it to the exact position of this and that's probably the hardest part but it will it will do good so you can 
just kind of go through views and uh, see how it looks and try and match it so it's uh, a bit similar doesn't have to be exactly the same it's a bit hard to see but uh, I believe in you once it's pretty close you can go to the human FPS and in there you'll have a parent in M1911 just select the parent and select everything under it press delete and it will delete it and now you want to parent this gun to the armature by selecting the gun armature then the player armature then selecting the um, the palm bone control P and bone and now this gun will follow the hand as you can see and now it will also play the reload animation so now you just gotta match the hands to the weapon okay uh, again before we continue I'll just save this as M1911 uh, reload but for the low poly arms and save as okay uh, I'll delete the middle frame for the idle animation now it just does nothing I'll also rename it here to M1911 reload and now we just gotta match with this so uh, on frame 4 we want to start tracking this hand to the uh, to the magazine now what you can do is say that this bone is child of something else and instead of being the child of IK arm target uh, you can go ahead and select the M1911 001 and then uh, find the actual magazine and it will parent to it but a much easier way to do it would be to just track it by yourself so on let's say frame 12 or which one was the lowest 12 yeah I'll just move the hand down to the grip or sorry to the magazine and I'll match it with the uh, with the magazine so it's kind of holding it again just rotate and everything uh, should be fine so he's kind of holding it then you can select the whole thing here and press I on frame 12 and at one point it should start following the magazine as you can see now at some points it's gonna of course not match with it so you'll just have to uh, manually move it to a similar place of course this part is not that important but once because it's not on screen but once you get uh, some things onto the screen it's gonna be quite important that they match as you can see it just kinda starts too soon it starts immediately and so I'll copy this actual pose of everything move it to frame uh, 4 and then just paste and press I and now it won't move until frame 4 and we just want to move it back to that position on frame uh, 16 so I'll just paste it again here and press I and now I'll move down with the magazine and come back as you can see now it's not perfect you could definitely add more keyframes for example here again uh, it's a bit too uh, too little press I you can see it kind of follows it here for example it doesn't go all the way down so I'll just move it myself there something like that again this part is not that important and it just kind of moves it back and at this point I want to cock uh, the gun back uh, whilst I don't actually have to do that I think there's like a button on the gun that you press and it comes back uh, so what I'll do is I'll just rotate it a bit so it adds some uh, impact to it I guess so I'll just take this hand and I'll just rotate maybe back and a bit to the left like that or sorry hmm. I'll just take the palm bone and rotate it a bit just like that and press I if you don't like the rotation just press alt R and delete or just delete the keyframe so now it looks normal so when it pulls back completely I'll just actually uh, rotate it backwards just like that press I and here I'll just make it so it's normal so copy from the fourth frame paste onto 16 and press I So now it kind of comes back and I'm pretty happy with that it's not perfect you could definitely take a lot more time but we just wanted we just wanted something that we can put together in unity so I'll go file and save as and this will be low poly arms and 1911 reload obviously you want to repeat these steps exactly uh, where you have the animations for the rest of the guns. I'll do that and I'll put the link uh, to download it in the next episode. 
hopefully uh, you learn something new I mean it's pretty similar to what we did the first time just a, maybe a bit different because you have to import the gun but that's it hopefully you learned something new hopefully you enjoyed okay now bye bye